So a subscriber of mine commented about how I should just ignore people who want to talk badly about me. I gotta point something out. There's a big, big difference between somebody just talking badly about me versus actions that may color people's reviews of me and influence my careers and by extension what I am allowed to do in this world, right? There, there, there's a big, big difference between that. I, I rarely ever listen to anything that is just talk, right? Let me give you an example. When I was in eighth grade, I didn't realize I was solo sexual at the time, but um, I had um, differences in uh, values in life for sure. Some of my classmates had already started dating and experimenting in their lives, and I did too, but I didn't realize that I had a difference in sexual orientation. I was fascinated with studying my dad's chemistry books. He's a chemical engineer. And I learned about electrolysis and um, how it can be made how can it can be used to make chlorine gas out of table salt. And I developed this big fear. I thought if you had salt on your hands, right? You had salty foods like potato chips on your hands and you went to touch a piece of electronic equipment like a remote control for a TV or a cell phone and electricity came into contact with salt it would make chlorine gas and I had a big fear of that and one day I was in eighth grade I decided to confront my fears so one one afternoon after school I came home and I made a good amount of chlorine gas to confront my fears that a small amount of chlorine gas isn't going to kill me, right? And um, I used it to uh, uh, do a few experiments, you know, bleach a few things, if I remember correctly, and kill a few insects, just to see, just enough to see that chlorine is toxic without so much that it kills me, right? So I confronted my fears, and I spent a good afternoon with myself, right? I didn't realize it at the time, but it was like a date, a solo sexual date. Didn't realize it at the time. Now, one day I get to the school bus stop, and I want to brag to my classmates about how last night I made some chlorine gas. Nobody really understood what I meant. In fact, the kids thought I was crazy, and the kids wanted to talk about how they had gone on a date with somebody else doing something that's also interesting to them, right? Just like making chlorine was interesting to me. And... Um, for whatever reason, whatever they decided to do, whether it be watching a movie, going to a restaurant, or who knows, right? Maybe they uh, discovered something else. Maybe it wasn't chemistry, but they, for some reason, everybody wanted to talk to them. Now, it's one thing that the kids thought I was crazy about doing the chemistry experiment. It becomes another thing when we have to do a group project of some sort at school and everybody excludes me because I work in a different fashion, right? For example, when I was working on my PhD, I had a hard time working when we were focused on work, right? My biggest creative ideas would often come when I'm not fixated on work, when I'm out at lunch, when I'm, um, uh, I'm, even though I'm not religious, sometimes I'll go to a church service just to see what it's about, right? Um, or when I was in Phoenix, I was commemorating Yom Kippur with a friend. I'm not religious, but I like to, to learn new things. And usually when I'm in a relaxed environment like that, oh, finally, I can figure out how to, how to cure COVID-19. Right? That's when the idea will come to my mind. Now, of course, nobody wants to hear about that when they're in the middle of celebrating Lent or Yom Kippur. But that's when my ideas come. And a lot of times, people will not be able to beat at that wavelength. And as a result, if I remember correctly, I took a course on um, software engineering. And we had a group project, and nobody would listen to me. And um, in fact, when I, when I got the project, I already knew what to do. I couldn't get my classmates to keep up with me, and I gave up on them. And I let them go fuck themselves. If I remember correctly, I got a B in that class. My class most of my classmates got A's in that class just because they knew how to fuck themselves, right? Now, fast forward 15 years later, maybe it's not getting an A or a B anymore. It's how much we're getting paid, whether we're getting accommodations that we want at work. You get the idea, right? Sometimes 
people get what they want just because they know how to fuck each other and they can be on the same wavelengths. And I, if all people wanted to do was talk badly about me, I'd listen to that all day and all night and be okay with it. Unfortunately, very rarely is that the case, right?